Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to configure traffic shaping on FortiGate Firewall. Let me just show you my topology. So this is my interface which is connected to internet and this interface is connected to my Linux machine. Okay, uh, let me just show you the Linux machine IP to you. So if you click on this you will be able to see the IP address dot 13 and I'm able to reach the internet let's test the upload and the download speed so right now I don't have any bandwidth shaping policy configured on the firewall so I should be able to achieve a decent upload and download speed Let's just do it one more time. Just to make sure that we have a decent bandwidth to test this particular scenario. Okay, so you can see my download and upload speed is beyond 5 Mbps. So I will try to limit this by doing some configuration under policy and object. So first of all, you need to create the traffic shaper. These are the objects that you will call in the traffic shaping policy. So first of all, let me explain you the difference between shared and per IP. So shared objects are the objects which could be, you know, called in multiple policies. Let's say you have created the object test and you have given the maximum bandwidth as one Mbps. So this object, if you call it in three policies, all the three policies is going to share, all the three policies are going to share the one Mbps uh, uh, bandwidth that you have allo allocated. Okay, so if you click on per IP, if you create the object under per IP, it is going to take effect for a specific host or a network. All right, so you can call it in a single policy. So we will see both of them one by one. Let's start with shared. Okay. So I have set it to 1000 kbps, which is 1 mbps. Click OK and then go to uh, traffic shaping, create a new policy. Um, I'm going to put the source as 30 because I want to cap. I want to put a cap on this particular host and then destination could be all. Port service all and my outgoing interface, which is connected to internet is port 1. I want to apply traffic shaping for both upload and download so I will select 
shaper, reverse shaper, shade shaper. Click OK. Before that, uh, OK. Okay, so we have a policy. Now we can check this from our machine. So definitely it is uh, putting a cap on my host. So it is not letting my host go beyond 1 Mbps. So you can see I have uh, limited the bandwidth for, for uh, Linux machine, which is having the IP.13. OK. So if you go back to the 40 view traffic shaping, you should be able to see. OK. So you can see the amount of traffic which went beyond the threshold and was uh, dropped by the traffic shaping object. OK, so we will create one more object to understand the behavior when it is created under per IP. I'm going to name it as test one. So the maximum bandwidth is again going to be 1000. Click OK. OK. So if you see here, it will not show you any uh, data under bandwidth utilization and uh, drop bytes same because it is not being triggered by the traffic. So we will make use of the existing policy. I'll try to, you know, Pull out this configuration and I'll try to put test one here. Okay, so let me just quickly cross check everything before we do the testing. Okay, so test one object we have created under per IP, which is going to uh, take, effect, take effect only for dot uh, 13 Linux machine. Here the bandwidth is 1 Mbps. Okay, so let's get back to our Linux machine and try to do the speed test. You can clearly see that the download speed is being, you know, throttled down to 1 Mbps. I'm not able to go beyond 1 Mbps, both download and upload speed. Let me just show you after disabling this policy. Before that, we can check uh, how much amount of data was dropped. So if you see here, uh, 7.31 MB of data was dropped by this particular traffic shaping object.
So you can see that the download speed is going beyond 1 Mbps and the upload speed is going to be 2.84 Mbps. Let me just do it one more time. So it is pretty evident from the output that we are able to see on screen that uh, after removing the policy, uh, we are able to achieve a decent uh, download speed and a decent upload speed. Thank you guys for uh, watching this video hit like if you uh, really like this video and stay tuned for more update please do subscribe to my channel so that uh, you get the update whenever I publish any video thank you once again